Hi, my fellow YouTube fans, or how I call it, Cubies. <laughs> Let's paint a Chaos Space Marine, this time one of the Alpha Legion. As you can see, I have previously built up the model, cleared all the mold lines and primed it in black. So, you see, the boulder is missing. He's here. <laughs> I will paint him separately. Uh, so I have a better uh, view about here the front part, the chest plate uh, to paint the, it better and also to paint better the boulder itself. The first color we will use after the black coat is now uh, the first coat of color over the armor. And for this instance I use a mixture of Mordian Blue and Deadly Nightshade. Well, um, these days Deadly Nightshade isn't available, but you can also use Necron Abyss for this purpose. That will do the job. The mixer, mixture ratio is uh, 2 to 1, 2 parts uh, Mordian Blue and 1 part of the dark blue color. So, and what I will do now is simply base coat all the parts of the armor that will be blue. So, this is a quite an easy step and <coughs> with the foundation paints uh, it won't be a problem to create a really nice and even coat. So, I'll go ahead and uh, paint now all the parts of the armor that need to be blue and I'll be back in a second. So, as you can see, the marine is blue now. Well, I uh, don't paint it very exactly here, you see I've uh, sloped the paint almost all over it, but that doesn't matter, these parts uh, will be covered later with a different coat of paint. So, uh, the next step will be we will start to shadowing it, and uh, for this instance we will give it a wash now with a mixture of butter black and a sermon blue. Two parts blue to one part butter black. And this will uh, create good and deep shadows in the whole miniature and give the blue a very rich tone. So, <coughs> just slop it all over the miniature. And we are good to go. So, I'll finish uh, inking it and let it dry and I'll be back in a second. So, as you can see, the ink is dry now and we can go on with the paint job. Now we <coughs> take Regal Blue as our next color, water it down and we start applying first real main color and as always we leave the recesses in the darker color because we want a three-dimensional look to the miniature and as always that's quite easy <coughs> just use the tip of the brush and you can paint very exact where you want to have the color. I will show this here at a few examples at the miniature and then as always I will skip ahead until the miniature is all painted in this way. Because you don't want to view a three-hour video, <laughs> don't you? All the way commenting while I'm painting. And of course I can better paint without having to worry <coughs> that the miniature is still in focus of the camera. So, you see now what I'm doing here, just painting on the color. I'll be back 
when this part is also done. So Tubies, <coughs> the first real coat of color is now applied. And you see that the Riga Blue has now a nice tone and we have good shadows. And you may ask, why the hell did she, uh, didn't she paint Regal Blue in the first place over the black uh, primer instead of using uh, the Mordian Blue Deadly Nightshade mix? Well, the answer is quite easy. You could have used Regal Blue in the first place, but, well, the foundation paints cover better over black. <clears throat> that was the only reason. So, at this stage, um, you have now to choose between two options. First uh, were the option the GW style highlighting with just um, um, well hard highlight edges uh, well edging all the armor parts uh, without real uh, highlights just the edges. If you want to learn this technique just follow the ultramarine tutorial you can see if you click there. So, the other way is, like I almost always uh, paint, is the actual highlighting of the armor. So, and uh, we are painting now Alpha Legion Chaos Space Marines, and uh, they have a slightly green turn to the, um, to the armor. And for that instance, we are highlighting now with Goblin Green. So, here you can see the uh, color, the Regal Blue. And um, we are mixing in a little bit of Goblin Green into the color. Mm. So like that. Here on top. You see uh, I, I mixed in it in a curvy way so that I can really decide where is the best mixture. And I think that here is the mixture we are going for the first highlight. And also we are putting in some water. <coughs> so, to have a nice liquid version of the color to give it a nice color transition. So, and uh, now we start applying the highlights. Just as before uh, in my World Eater tutorial, we're pushing now the pigments into the direction we want to have them. So, just like that. Then here on the shoulder pad. I have a little bit too much color on the brush that you can always get rid of if you dab it on a paper towel to have the right amount of color you want on the brush. So, and that way we highlight all the uh, upper parts of the armor. So, like that. Then here at the helmet. This is always very important. The the helmet is um, kind of the main focus of the miniature, and for that instance, we want to <coughs> be very exact on what we are doing. So, and by the way, um, if you are still wondering what this is, this is a sticky tag, <coughs> or poster tag, or sometimes called blue tag. It's a, a rubber kind of thing. And uh, there are several brands. I use, for example, the Uhu Patafix version of this. But there are several other brands, and you may find this in Walmart or uh, any other uh, office supply uh, shop. You can find this. So, and I will go on highlighting now uh, the rest of the armor and I'll be back when this stage is also done. The first highlight step is done 
and now we start with the second highlight with even more goblin green into the regal blue. Oh yes, this color is actually really nice. And we are starting now to uh, uh, highlight only from above. So only the top parts will get hit by the highlight stroke. We're getting a nice turquoise green bluish look. <coughs> yeah, that's nice. That's exactly the way to go. <coughs> so we don't want have to hit many spots with that. So, and now we go for the last highlight with even more goblin green into the mix. <laughs> Front part of the respirator. Here, yeah, let's go around it. So, just like that. Shoulder pad. Here at the top part. There a little bit. <coughs> Here a little round dot on the top of the exhaust pipes. So then here a little line. So, and I think for the armor, that's enough. A little bit here, and in the front of the shoe. So, <coughs> I think that's it. Ah, here. There, I forgot an important line. That's it for the highlights, and now we're going for the interesting part. Now the interesting part starts, because, well, like the Night Lords have lightnings on uh, the armor, also the Alpha Legion has some decoration on the armor, and that are some scales. And now I show you how to paint nice scales. First of all, uh, we take uh, the part we want to have scales on, for example, this part here on the leg, and then uh, we take a 50 50 mixture of Dark Angels Green and Regal Blue, and then we start painting the scales. Well, there are two uh, techniques for scales uh, one are uh, curves and triangles. So I will go for triangles this time, and it's quite easy. Paint in a thick line of this green tone, <coughs> like a triangle, and then maybe here we'll make another one like that, and under that we'll place another one. Always a little bit uh, put to the side. So, then 
here. Also one. First we want to have a thick line. So like that. I think that's enough. And now we are highlighting this color by uh, putting in goblin green into the mix. And also making it a little bit more liquid by adding a drop of water. So and then we will uh, repaint the scale with a thin line beneath. You see? Leave a little bit of the dark green behind and you're good to go. So, that's all it is. Just highlighting the scales. So, <clears throat> and now we're taking even more goblin green into the mix. <clears throat> and now we're making an even thinner line. Just at the bottom, two thirds of the scale. So, just like that. Uh, making a U shape uh, is almost the same as this, just with a U-shape instead of a triangle. So, and that's your scales on the armor. So, the next thing to follow is painting all the armor parts uh, that need to be silver. For example, here the rivets around the shoulder pads or these pipes here. All that stuff. I will do this off camera. Be right back. The metal parts are covered in bolt gun metal now, as you can see, and I always uh, also painted the metal parts at the boulder. And now it's time uh, to give it a proper shade, and for that we use the good old Balab Black wash. We just cover the metal areas that need <coughs> shading, like for example this pipes here, then in between the arms and legs. So this uh, plane surfaces here don't need it. Um, the next part that needed it is here, this shoulder pad rivet. So then here are these little pipes on the backpack. Here are the exhausts. So, here at the front of the knee, there's a good big area that needs a little bit. <coughs> so, I think. Oh, here at the, at the shoes. Okay, we let that dry now. And after that, we hit it with a little bit of mithril silver for nice highlights on the metal parts. Be right back. As you can see, the wash is dry now, and now it's time for some highlights on the metal parts with mithril silver. This is also just a very easy step. Only take out some hot spots and bright spots on the metal parts and give it a hit with the mithril silver. <coughs> you don't uh, need to hit everything, just some top parts here and there. Here down at the shoes. 
<coughs> a little bit here, then on the skull. So, and I think for the middle parts, <coughs> right here, a little bit on the border. So, and that's already okay. <coughs> uh, now we will paint uh, the ammunition in gold. And for that I'm using my trusty mix of uh, <coughs> uh, tin bits, burnished gold and dwarf browser. Uh, let's take that away so we can paint it actually. Just simply go over it, but just the ammunition, not the belt itself, to get it separate. <coughs> Same on the other side. And there we go. This part is also done. So, uh, now the last touches on the marine itself. Now I will paint the eyes and we will give him green eyes and for that purpose uh, we start with, uh, where we have it, <coughs> there it is, Orchid Shade, it's a nice dark green well covering color and we will paint uh, the whole eye now with this color. Just use the tip of the brush and you're good to go. So, next step will be snot green. <coughs> and for this purpose we will paint only a uh, two-third of the eye. From the front to the back side. There you can see it. So. Well, okay. Let's paint this here. Down here also. <coughs> so, like this. And now. We will take uh, some golden yellow and mix it into the snot green to create an even brighter green tone than scorpion green. And we will paint only the front of the eye with this. You see? Now for the other one. That. And now to give it a more three-dimensional look, we will go for the good old little white dot in the back of the eye. <coughs> so, tiny little bit on the brush, and then just in the back corner, tiny little dot. And now voila, you have a three-dimensional lens. There we go. So painting wise, uh, well, this model is done. We can uh, 
glue now the bolter in place. <coughs> Apply a decal and make the base. Well, um, if you seek uh, advice on placing a decal, you click here to the uh, World Eaters tutorial and there in the end I explain how to actually place a decal and in many older tutorials I show you how to create a base. I will do this off camera and I show you uh, now the last steps here creating the horns. So for that <coughs> we will go um, backwards. We will uh, now actually paint the horns in the right direction. Normally uh, bull horns have a tendency to be uh, bright he down here and getting darker to the top. Normally uh, the people paint horns other way around. So for that instance uh, we will start with a base coat of Commando Kaki. <coughs> Dim it there, put it into the green, that's not so good. So, another try. Here we go. So, this uh, will need over the black actually two coats to cover completely. But that's okay. Better two thin coats than one too thick. Just paint the whole thing in Commando Kaki. Well, <coughs> I will uh, paint it now uh, off camera until this is completely covered in Commando Kaki in one even coat. So, you see the first coat uh, of almost good coverage uh, is applied, and that's enough. And now we uh, paint over it with a very thin mixture of Commando Kaki and a very, very tiny little drop of black. And we will now um, darken the horn to the top more and more. <coughs> so. drop of black. So, like that. And a little bit higher. And now, even darker. And you see uh, that we will create an almost wet blending here. More dark paint. you can do this technique the other way around if you prefer it to have it dark at the bottom and bright at the top and you could also do this with browns and bleached bone or browns and white or black and white that doesn't matter at all so <coughs> even darker now almost pure black And you see how the wet paint 
works fast. Nice blend. So, now the last step, we take pure black for the top. And voila. Nice horns. <laughs> He's now horny. Okay, like I said, off camera I will do now the decal and the base. And we'll see us then. So Tubies, and there we have him in all his glory. Now with a decal on the shoulder pad, nicely even out with a micro saw. A nice designed base. The bolter attached. Oh, apropos bolter. Ah, there's one thing I have forgotten to do. <clears throat> this is just a very easy step. Take a little bit of Griffon sepia and give the gold parts here a tiny little wash to give it a little bit more depth. So, and now he's finished. I hope you liked this little tutorial about the Alpha Legion Chaos Space Marine and we see us in the next video. Yo Alexandra! See you.